Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 16th of February 2013 and the time in London is 13.24 uh, uh, p.m. In New York is uh, 8.24 a.m. Uh, happy uh, Saturday to you all. Uh, the title of this video is Advanced uh, Market Trading. In this video we will discuss, uh, okay, the guidelines uh, for advanced uh, uh, market trading, what we need to pay attention to, what we need to do, okay, how we can become, okay, okay, a more disciplined uh, trader applying the trading uh, triangle. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTWSYS008 traders, and our website is www.stochastic-macd.com. Let's get started. We are looking on a monthly chart of uh, the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is the market. If you are in India, you are in China, you are in Japan, you are in uh, Africa, you are in uh, Saudi Arabia, Whichever part of the world you are in, okay, when we are talking about the market, we are talking about uh, the S&P 500. All right. If you are trading commodity, you are trading um, any financial instrument, whether you are trading forex, when we are talking about the market, is the S&P 500. A lot of forex traders get into trouble sometimes because they forget the market. When New York is open, you will see very often that the euro USD, which is the leading currency pair, very often will try to follow okay, or either the Dow Jones or the S&P 500 itself. All right? Few things we need to clarify here. This is about uh, adopting the mindset of professional traders, okay, and uh, trading like a pro. Very important, all right? So, the market is the most important thing a trader or an investor is watching. We can see that in 2009, okay, the bearish cycle has ended here in March 2009. The price change in direction here. There was, a, okay, a hot a spot trading zone right here, the price change direction here. All right? When we see the market changing direction, we need to pay attention, all right? Very, very important. It doesn't matter whether you are trading commodity or anything else, or forex, you want to know. Here, the market did change direction. Again, here, it changed direction. Here, it changed direction. Here, it changed direction. Again, here, it changed direction. These are important times for a trader to pause and to pay attention and uh, to know what the, price, what the market is likely to do next to align your trading strategy or your investment strategy with the market hot spot trading zone. The next thing, when the market is approaching a resistance zone as it's approaching now, you see, we need to know which strategy we need to adopt. Either we are securing our gain or we are taking profit and wait, which means we step aside and just watch the market if we do not like it. Recently, a few months ago, I have closed all my stock trades, okay, because I trade forex and I also I trade stocks. But recently, I closed almost all my stock trades because the market is approaching, uh, okay, a resistance zone. It was going up, you can see, for three months, but I have probably uh, how many positions for stock right now? Maybe four or five, okay, talking about trading, not investment portfolio because I have investment portfolio and also I have a trading account, all right? So, now, because of where the market is coming to, all right? So, we're talking about advanced, uh, okay, trading, okay? We want to watch the market all the time. You may say to me, George, I trade option, I trade uh, a forex. I don't want to know anything. Uh, the good news is that, okay, you need to know, very important. A lot of traders, in my experience, know how to trade. They trade, they make money, they give money away, they go through the ups and downs of the market. But sometimes it's just because the trader is not using the trading triangle. All right? Talking about advanced okay, trading, okay, advanced market trading, all right? 
We want to know what can influence the market. Market leaders will influence the market. How do we deal with a group? So you see, for instance, uh, uh, a lot of uh, teenagers messing around in a group. How do you handle them? You can try yourself. When you see a group of teenagers messing around somewhere, and you want to talk to them, don't just talk to them, okay, for the group. Ask them, who is the leader? All right? When you ask them, who is the leader, they may say to you first, there is no leader. But somebody finally may say, yes, this person is the leader. Once you manage to control the leader, you are likely to control the group. That's how you can control the group. As a trader, we are trading financial instruments. And the leaders, we want to know them. For NASDAQ, we know that it's uh, Google and Apple can mess up okay, a beautiful okay, bullish setup if they are bearish. All right? And they can mess up a beautiful a bearish setup if they are bullish, if you fail to acknowledge the leaders of the group. So it's very important to know the leaders. The leaders can change the dynamics of the market. Talking about the Dow Jones, you know, is some mobile. Is a market leader. McDonald is a mass market leader. Boeing is a market leader, and we want to keep eyes on the market leaders. The market leaders can change the dynamics of the market. Recently, Caterpillar has messed up the Dow Jones, and it went down big time. But if you are watching the leaders, you will align, okay, your strategy or your trading plan, okay, with the market, knowing that the leaders can change the dynamics of the market at any point. Last year or a few years ago, I have revealed to traders the trading triangle. In most of our videos, I talk about this trading triangle. This is it. On the top of every decision that we're going to make, we are looking at the market. If the market is in a bullish cycle, sometimes traders think that this is a mumbo jumbo or George, enough. But I mean, some traders later on found out this is so important. The reason why I'm saying it all the time is just I want traders, okay, to I'm encouraging traders to get into this, okay, trading, okay, methods. Uh, doesn't matter your trading style, or what you are trading, <laughs> the market first, okay. We are watching first the market to align us. So if the market is approaching a resistance level, it's the worst time to align for to to fill up your portfolio with. Uh, a swing trading, many stocks, okay? It may work, it may not work, but the risk is so high because the market is approaching the resistance level. It will be better to wait for the market to break above the resistance level to retest it to find a support, and then maybe you may start swing trading again. This time here, you see this is the best time because the market change direction here start going. Now this is the best time for swing trading. So you loading it, loading it, because you want to move with the market. At the same time, if the market change direction, you want to check the market leaders. Sometimes you may see, okay, that the market leaders may be doing something else and the market itself will be going up. Recently, Apple went down big time, but the market did not go down as much as Apple was going down. It's uh, something worrying, all right? Is the market late? Is the Apple stock giving a leading indicator about what is likely to happen in the future to the S&P 500 or to the Nasdaq? We want to note it down, all right? Very, very important. All right? So the market first. But we know right below here we have the leaders because the leaders can change the dynamics of the markets. The next thing that can change the dynamics of the market is the news. Recently we see for, we were trading, uh, okay, the crazy currency pair, the USD yen. The Japanese government stated clearly that they want to devalue the yen. The hedge firms start selling the yen big time. They were shorting the yen, making billions of pounds. So, though we were expecting the second wave, we know that the news can change the dynamics of the market. All right? There was also one news last Friday about uh, uh, the market sentiment, in the economy sentiment in the United States is improving. This kind of news can change the dynamics of the market. So, the news, any news can come out of the blue. Your setup is beautiful, it's gorgeous. It's high probability technical setup, but any news that is contrary to the market, we are know that there are speculators, there are news traders that will come into the market and do what they want to do. But we can control the risk. The fundamentals can change the dynamics of the markets. All right. So 
earning warnings, they change the dynamics of the markets instantly. All right. So these are the, the inside of the trading triangle the leaders, the news and the fundamental. We want to keep eyes on them. Download on your smartphone Google Finance, Yahoo Finance, all right, Forex Factory, all right, and play with it. Just get into the moon. You don't want to trade the news, but be aware of it, okay? If you are trading, for instance, I know some traders trade only one financial instrument, like uh, E-mini or whatever, okay? They trade day in, day out the same financial instrument. So you want to know what is likely to affect that financial instrument. So after you, you've done this work, your verification leaders new fundamental, but you're lying nicely. Now you want to watch, uh, okay, it's the same thing, group, the sector, okay, the group, and the leaders in the group, before you pay attention to the, the stocks. Always the inside of the trading triangle can mess up, okay, any technical setup. If you are using a... Uh, any indicator, this is about advanced trading, you want to understand the indicator. Recently we see some comment on some of our stochastic video, which uh, I think, okay, if you have a question, okay, ask the right question, it's better that way. If you don't know how to use stochastic, well, ask the right question, and we will explain to you. This stochastic has put a lot of traders in a mess. What is happening? Okay, traders, when the stochastic is overbought, trader will sell. Well, they sell, sometimes the price will go down, they make money, sometimes the price will go up, which means a breakout. What I say to traders is this. When the stochastic is overbought, is highlighting a resistance level. We will draw a line there to highlight the resistance that stochastic is pointing to us. At the same time, we will use our own eyes to see whether this is the best, the, the best resistance level, paying attention to the price itself. If the price break above that resistance level and finally support, you cannot sell. If you see the stochastic overbought, you know that the price was first in a rising channel, okay? So stochastic was oversold first and then it becomes overbought. So the price is now in a rising channel. It doesn't matter whether you're on a 50 minute chart or you're on a four hour chart. So before you can sell, the price must come out of the bearish channel and retest it. That's the best way. In fact, if you are using the stochastic on the four-hour chart, like many traders are doing, when the stochastic is overbought on the four-hour chart, the price was first in a rising channel. Is the price out of the bearish channel? If it's not in the bearish, if it's not out of the rising channel, you cannot sell it. All right. So there was uh, some comment about the stochastic in one of our video. I know that this trader needs a bit of help. Go to our website, click on contact, contact us. I mean, uh, if you are not a TST trader, okay? And uh, we can, okay, assist you to trade a stochastic, like a professional trader, as I'll explain to you. I can show you now on this chart, very fast, on a four hour chart, how one can use, okay, the stochastic. Because a lot of, even there are some programs, some, some uh, trading robots, uh, using the stochastic on a 10 second, these are high frequency traders, on a one minute chart, Overbought, sell, oversold, buy. It's the wrong way to use the stochastic. It's a kind of distortion happening in this uh, messy market. We are talking about advanced market trading, but this point is very important, and I will go over it <laughs> very fast. Okay, maybe this will help some traders improve their ability to trade. The trend line, the channels, and the support and resistance level will allow traders to make a better uh, trading decision. Okay, so I'm putting on my chart now, the stochastic, uh, I will change my setting to 8, a trade trade. And I'm going to uh, explain here in the public to everybody how one can use, okay, the stochastic in this trade trade because there's a lot of um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, I've done it myself before and uh, I know a lot of new traders are going through the same motion. The biggest mistake that you'll make is to, uh, I mean... Uh, Try to think that you understand it, but you do not understand it. You want to understand it perfectly. So here I'm going to show everybody in the public place, okay? On a four-hour chart. Look, 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 look. Here, here. Here it is. All right? So the stochastic here, you see, on this four-hour chart was overbought, okay? You can see that 
some trader were selling here, wasting the time of other traders. But look, draw your channel. Look, look, look. Where is the price? The price is in a rising channel. Yes or no? Do you sell? You don't sell. You don't sell. The stochastic was overbought. Yes or no? So, but when a stochastic is overbought, you see here, it came when it comes from oversold or from bullish position to a overbought zone, it's pointing to us a resistance level. This resistance here. Pay attention to the vertical line. Stochastic say to her, hello George, you are in a resistance zone. All I would do, I will say to Stochastic, thank you. Thank you for information. I highlight it. And I'm watching it, okay? Yeah, you see, he break above it and find a stopper. But Stochastic say to you, you are still in a resistance zone, George. And I say, I know, but the resistance is kaput. All right? So I think uh, I've said enough now, Okay. And uh, the Twitter that is uh, consistently um, uh, posting uh, that comment on our stochastic uh, video, uh, we do not want to ban traders. In the past, that will be a ban instantly for this uh, trader. But uh, we have grown strongly now, and we don't ban traders anymore. We just remove okay, the comment. At early stage, we were banning people. If you put stupid comment, we ban people. But now we become strong, and so we don't ban people. Oh, anymore. It's not nice, okay? But now we can handle that, so we will only remove the comments, okay? So now you know how to trade a stochastic. If you are the master key trader, do exactly the same thing. Oversold mean support level. You can draw yourself, all right? Very important. So when we are talking about advanced market trading, we want to understand the indicators. You are using MACD, you want to thoroughly understand MACD. You are using the RSI, you want to thoroughly understand the RSI. You are using moving averages, you want to thoroughly understand moving averages. You want to use Bollinger Band, you want to thoroughly understand Bollinger Band. Go to www.stochastic-magdi.com or www.dayprotrader.com and you will learn how to use your indicators. So apart from the trading triangle, which is crucial, the first thing that we want to check. So we want to scan for stock. So we can like this, what traders are doing, they are scanning, they are looking for best setups, okay, for Monday to place their trade. A lot of time, a lot of energy will be used during the weekend instead of uh, going to the beach or dance or do something great. Traders are busy because they want to understand, nothing wrong with it. But when we are scanning for financial instrument, we want to align that financial instrument with the market. Where is the market? So. Doesn't matter what you are trading, you want to know where is the S&P 500. Don't check it on the 10 minute chart, check it on a higher time frame like this. And uh, you want to know where the market is. The next thing that I need to say to trader, talking about advanced market trading, you can see that the price moved from here to this level here. And then the price, okay, there was a bit of profit taking, not 100% profit taking. Okay. so. I'm highlighting my point, how professional trading. So, because the bull, the bulls were dominating the market here, they took a bit of profit, no, not too much profit. We want the profit taking to be less than 61.8%, okay? All right? To be somewhere here, not 100% profit taking. So, we know that the bulls are dominant force. If the market change direction here, after the profit taking, we will say to ourselves, if they are still very, very bullish, they might at least repeat the same previous move. The same move, you see from here, the same length of move. So we will say to our set a target here. Okay, moment please. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. And it is primarily for the TSTW uh, traders. Very, very important. This is not a signal to buy or sell any financial instrument. So price went now from here to here. There was a profit taking, not 100% profit taking. Price changed the direction. We will say the price is likely in normal condition. If the bullish momentum is intact, they will repeat the same length. They know how much profit they have taken. This is a psychological game to repeat the same length. So we will set our target here. This is just one of the tips for advanced market trading. So we will say when the S&P 500 was changing direction here, we will, say, we will hear, okay, analysts say that S&P 500 has a high chance to go into the 1496 zone. 
people will say, where did they get that from? This kind of thing. All right. But look, the, the market did not reach the target zone, but in fact changed direction before that. It's bearish. When we see the price failing to repeat the previous move after a just a small profit taking, it's bearish. Here, if you receive a signal below uh, the target zone to sell, we will sell because it didn't, it's not as strong, okay? It's not as strong as it was before, you see, after the price change direction. So here, if I see a bearish cycle, I will be part of it. If I receive a sell signal here, I will take it because this is a market principle. Bullish momentum strong, we are likely to see equal progression of the price. It didn't. Well, we will sell it. But we want to sell, we want to look on the left hand side. Is here a resistance zone? Yes. See? Price change direction here. Okay? How do we do this? This is the setup. Now we go to the signal time frame and then the entry point. Signal fell, come out step by step. Does not mean that you will definitely come down. We want a trailer at the channel, come out of the channel, retest it, and come down. That's how. Don't force it because it couldn't reach it. Out of the channel. Yes? Good. Retest. Low risk. All right? Step by step. Okay. So we will say to the S&P that it should come to this level. It didn't. So we receive a signal here. Gorgeous. We will sell it. It's price coming down. Price looking for the better support level. The first and nearest support level is our first target. Okay? All right, you want to watch the support level as the price going down so that you do not sell in front of a support level and then the price is changing direction. They brought it all the way here. Okay, this is on a monthly chart. The price will be going ups and down, ups and down on a daily chart. And so if you want to enter the trade on the edge. Next step. We see that now the price moves from here to here. This is a dominant force, bullish, profit taking, not 100% again. Right here, okay. So price went up, profit taking, not hundred percent. The dominant force is what bullish. You you understand physics, okay? Dominant force, resultant force, okay? La force resistance, okay? All right, for my uh, French speakers. So now we move it. We say, okay, if they are serious bull, we will expect them to repeat the same move. Right here, we'll place it here. You can do this strategy on the hourly chart, the four hour chart, two hour chart, okay, daily chart, two days chart, three days chart. This is advanced market trading. So, price, so we see the dominant force was bullish, profit taking less than 100%. We want it to be between uh, uh, between 50 and uh, 61.8. No, that would be better for us, okay? So, we will expect them to repeat the same move. So we will set our target as the price start changing direction. Let me move this one. Changing direction here. Okay. We will set our target here. Color it again in green. Step by step. Advanced trading. Okay. That's it. So this is our next target zone. As the price rolling it up, look, it couldn't again. What's going on with the S&P 500? So here again, we will wait, come out of the channel, retest the channel, boom. Okay, price going down, attention to the first and nearest support level. Do not assume anything. Take signal at a low risk point. Manage the trade. Attention to the trading triangle. The leaders, the news, and the fundamental can change the dynamics of any technical setup. Very important. Moving on. So here, if you receive a signal to sell as it's going down, we will take it. We want to watch it carefully. It couldn't, okay, go down much. So you want to see the the bear were trying to sell, but they were not taking. They were not selling per, uh, uh, to the hundred percent. So it means that the dominant force is still bullish. Here again, you see. Okay, the dominant force is still bullish. So again. We can say that the price, the dominant force was from here to here, yes or no? And then uh, there was again a profit taking, not 100% profit taking, which means, okay, the dominant force is still bullish, 
they, this is just a profit taking or an invitation to buy. All right. We use the same strategy again. We will say to ourselves, they are likely to repeat the same move and we will set again our target here. I will color it again into green. Beautiful green. Gorgeous. All right. All right. You see now? You see now? So we will set our target here. The price still going up. So the level that we are watching is exactly the zone of uh, the top of the market. You see the line that I'm putting here on top here. I will color it into red. Okay. The top of the market. That the market is desperate trying to retest that level, which is near our green uh, okay target zone. All right. So you want to understand the market. You want to understand the price. Okay. And you want to understand other market participants. When we look at the trading triangle, we are talking about the market, okay? The market is huge. S&P 500 is 500 stocks. It doesn't matter whether you are in Japan or in India, you want to watch the S&P 500. But within this market, we have leaders. Google, Boeing, Caterpillars. These are market leaders. We have also market indicators. Crude oil is a market indicator. We have gold is a market indicator. Euro USD is a market indicator. USD yen is a market indicator. These okay market indicators and market leaders they are here. They can change the dynamics of the market itself. All right, they can change the dynamics of the market. At the same time, we are talking about leaders. We are talking about the Fed, the central banks. Their decision regarding the, 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 the interest rate, like in Japan, there is a change in policy. The hedge funds are watching these leaders. So the Fed is saying now, okay, we don't want to repeat any more quantitative easing. It's a major okay, change of uh, okay, sentiment. Okay? The leaders, the market leaders, uh, the market indicators, the Federal Reserve banks, these are leaders. Now we are talking about news that are coming in every day. This news can change the dynamics of the market. We want to watch it. The fundamental concerning the financial instrument, the Eurozone decision can affect any currency pair uh, with the Euro. Very important. We want to watch it. You want to trade the S&P 500. You want to trade uh, Microsoft. You want to trade Google. You want to trade Apple. Check the news relating to these uh, stocks. The sector within uh, is the, the tech sector bullish. And they, it's where is Nasdaq 100, okay? And this sort of exercise, you will do that. And together with your technical analysis or your technical trading tool to make excellent trading decisions. To summarize this advanced market trading, we want to pay attention first to the market, okay? Very important. The market leaders, can, the, the news and the fundamental can change the dynamics of the market, the whole, talking about the sentiment, the sentiment. Last Friday, you see the sentiment, the sentiment, talking about news coming in, sentiment change, people expecting something, something else happened, sentiment will change. We want to control the risk. We are not trading the news, but we want to control the risk. Are we happy with the news? I don't like this news. I'll close some of the trade. I'll reduce my exposure. This kind of exercise we want to do. The next thing, we want to pay attention to the price shelf. As I show you here, know the dominant force. Here it is, the same thing, same scenario. Price, okay, pay attention. Price went down, okay, good. Now there was a profit taken by the bear. Not 100% profit taken. All right, we will expect them, okay, to repeat, okay, the previous okay move now here it is from the change where well, was the price change direction they repeat it even exceed it well well when they exceed it we will this will be our target zone we draw a line there and we will watch it very interesting okay so we'll watch this level if it goes below it and we'll receive a signal below our target zone cautiously because we know it's a target zone we need to be careful boom we we'll repeat the project the same, okay, length of the price. Yes, you see some traders to profit for the second target zone right here. All right, these are serious bear. They are not messing around at all. Okay, now let's give them the third, okay, projection. 
boom, they couldn't reach it, and the price changed the direction here. You see what's happening now? The dominant falls, and we want to use this strategy when we are trading the market. Another thing that is very important when we are talking about advanced market trading, you are using stochastic. What is the stochastic? What is the role of the stochastic? How do you trade the stochastic? There are traders that are swing traders trading the stochastic on a daily chart day in, day out. They understand this tool. They know that the price is the number one indicator. They acknowledge the news that they are technical traders and they are creaming the market day in, day out because they understand the indicator. It does not matter which trading tool that you are using, GSTW24 or SYZ08, you want to understand the tool, understand the market, understand the price, and also understand other market participants. I hope you have enjoyed this video that you will put into use, okay, to make excellent uh, trading decisions. We are the GSTW SYS08 uh, uh, traders. Speak to you soon.